So I've been looking online. Um, by the way, this video is not going to be directly about metal detecting or tinkering with metal detecting stuff, but indirectly about metal detecting. Because this contraption I'm building is going to help me uh, get some free heat, hopefully, into the Redneck Fun Factory to uh, warm me up a little bit while I'm tinkering. So, indirectly it's related. And what I've done is, I've researched online about solar heating. Um, and basically what we're going to do is we've taken this, uh, it's a pro vent, we use this, sorry about the shakiness, I just finished my second cup of coffee. These are used in roof lines um, to keep the insulation and to keep direct airflow against, you know, this is your roof surface here and it keeps direct airflow going from your soffit vents to your ridge vent. Um, they come charcoal gray, but we spray painted it flat black to absorb as much of the sun's heat properties as we can. And a lot of people make theirs out of wood. Mine's going to be an indoor unit that will hang in a window. So I've made it out of this rigid foam board, insulation board, which serves two purposes. Um, not only does it make my frame for me out of something rigid and light, but it has insulation values. I've used refractive tape along the edges that are going to be exposed after this piece sits, oops, sits in it, like so. So any sunlight that, that hits the sides will get refracted back to my collection surface. Uh, you can see it's got structural um, ridges in it already, which help keep its shape and help uh, deflect my airflow as it goes through. And we're going to place this sucker down here in the bottom corner. Um, sucking air in from the bottom. Okay, room air, room temperature air. And as the sunlight hits and the heat collects behind here, um, this fan, which will eventually have a thermostat switch on it, so it kicks on at a certain temperature. And then we'll have a hole or series of holes up here at the top and some sort of hooks in here to hang it in the window. <clears throat> it's very light, very cheap. I think this piece here cost me two and a half bucks and a full sheet of this um, which of I have that much left so I could build a smaller one still out of something else you know but this piece here was uh, eight and a half bucks so nine eight and a half nine and a half ten and a half eleven dollars um, this was free but if you were to buy one they run on 12 volts if you were to buy one, I think they're like five or six bucks at uh, Radio Shack. Um, but I've got several. Oh, hang on, I think that's for you. Okay, we're back. It was for you. <coughs> um, it was your wife. I took a message. She says hi. Anyway, um, <laughs> so then we're going to take this window film stuff. You know this stuff, you, you, you uh, use some double-sided tape around your window frame and then you use a hair dryer to shrink it. All right, That's going to help uh, hold in our heat and uh, also protect our whole project here. Later on we'll switch to a smaller unit with a 12 volt solar cell uh, on a rechargeable battery so we can recharge the battery and it'll be 100% solar driven. But uh, We'll show you what it's like when we're done. So here's the finished product. I ended up using um, this double-sided, it's like duct tape, but just the sticky part of the duct tape. It's a uh, double-sided carpet tape is what it is. I wasn't really happy with the way this, this is like scotch tape, double-sided which is alright for around your wooden windows and stuff like that, but for this application I wanted a more permanent deal. So this stuff goes on and it's it's real sticky. And then that blue plastic comes off. 
to reveal just as sticky a side. So, excuse me. We use the window film, like I was telling you. The refractive tape that I used inside. Flat black for the proper vent. Uh, I also used a small piece of black duct tape across the top to fill in an air gap that we had. Um, on this lip here for the proper vent, I used uh, this spray adhesive here, which I happen to have just laying around. Uh, it's really sticky stuff and it worked well. But you could probably use a double-sided tape there as well or, you know, however you feel fit to adhere it to there. There's no screws or nails in any of this. It's all glue and tape, uh, mostly duct tape and that metal tape there. Again, I wanted to keep it really lightweight. This styrofoam is, uh, you know, still a couple grades lower than balsa wood, so it's got pretty good R value, um, but it doesn't hold the screw very well, so everything had to be pretty much taped. Here's the other side of that double-sided duct tape. And I just went around the whole thing with a black duct tape. Use the hair dryer right there to uh, get this pretty tight, you know. And we recessed our computer fan motor about a quarter of an inch into the other side. Um, and then I used some more of that metallic tape to hold it in place. And it's in there pretty good. Uh, then I thought about, well, geez, you know, you're going to see that on the back of your window. And I thought, well, you could hang a poster on there. Just make sure you cut for your, you know, your fan and your vents up top. Like a nice landscape, you know, mountain view or waterfall or, you know, a Hawaiian island kind of a poster on there. And I thought, well, geez, what if you took a camera, took a picture out that window of what it looks like out that window, had that picture blown up to this size, and then tape it to this, cut open your vents, and you wouldn't change your view. Now, the other thing you do is you could make this half the size of your window, and that way you could still get natural light and still have the functionality of this. Um, so we've got a little 12 volt motor in there and let me hook it up to this big old battery and show you what we get. So we just use the little thumb screws that these marine batteries come with. Uh, you could use clamps or however you want to do it. Obviously I'm going to have a longer cord. That was smart, wasn't it? Motor's running. They're not super strong. They're not going to kill you. They're not dangerous. but. We do get some flow out of here. I don't know if the microphone can pick it up like it does wind out in a field, but we do get some flow out of here. You know, it's not high velocity, but then again, you're not trying to cool off the air inside. You're trying to transport the warm air and blow it out. You know, you get a lot warmer if you just sort of go <sighs> nice and soft, uh, larger volume than velocity versus you know, if you had a turbo fan and one little tiny jet hole out of here, it's not going to feel as warm. But this is definitely got some flow coming out. I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone. Uh, now all we need is some sunshine. We'll give this thing a test. It's not heavy. I can hold it with one hand. And I guess, I don't know, two and a half pounds, three pounds tops. If I was using it for an outdoor application, I would definitely make it out of wood. Um, I would still use this plastic, the black piece inside, and I would line it with this pink stuff. But the exterior frame would be made of wood, and this piece here would be either uh, regular glass. It would either be glass or like a Lexan, you know. Um, plexiglass tends to turn yellow over the years from the sun, but... Uh, you know, for our indoor purposes, and it's not going to take but two suction cup hooks to hold this in the window and utilize some, uh, some free heat from good old Mr. Sun. So there it is.
portable. That way if the sun moves from one window to another, you can just move it over. Make a couple of them, put them in all the different windows of your house, angle it, you know, angle it about like so, so that the sun hits directly on it. And there you have it. Thanks for watching.